All right, let's dive in. LeBron James, kids, um, is once again named to the All NBA team. I don't think anybody's surprised by that. But the shocking thing is, when you when you look at what he's done, this is the 18th time in 19 years. Not bad. So yes, he's freakishly healthy. Like for somebody that's so big and powerful and plays the game like he does, he doesn't miss time. And 18 of his 19 years now, he <laughs> has been a member of the All NBA team. Right now, he is frozen in cry- in a cryogenic chamber on he the is. moon for next season. It, where until, zero until next gravity September. really helps. That's where he's at right now. That's how he stays healthy. <laughs> He has some sort of trick. Yeah, he does. I'm not making any accusations. I'm just looking at the guy saying, Mm -hmm. Father Time doesn't even know where he is. It catches everybody. Nope. Father Time doesn't even know where he is right now. Caught caught his hairline and left the rest of him alone. (laughs) (laughs) Here's the thing about LeBron. I would put LeBron and Tom Brady in the same category. These two guys of our generation spent more on their bodies than anybody else. And there's a reason that they can play it. That's that is the reason that they can play to the level that they play at the age that they're at because everybody works out. Everybody Everybody, says, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I really went at it in the offseason. Not like these, but the stories about Brady and LeBron. I think you're right. They're they're kind of in a league all their own and he could probably play for 45 like Brady. Oh, he could. He won't but he could. You know, crazy part about it is, as good as he is, I think he's still underrated. Like, as good as he is, there's a segment of people who don't really quite appreciate. I think it's a personal how quick. thing. Is that, mean, the Jordan, is that the Jordan? Is that the Jordan fans? He missed it. He missed All NBA his rookie year, <laughs> and then went 18 straight. Yep. The fact that he's still playing and could lead the league in assists, lead the league in um, points. Yeah. It's just people. I don't think he's. Under, I don't agree that he's underrated because I think everybody universally agrees he's at worst the second best player in the history of the game. Now, are there people saying he's any lower than that? Well, I think G. Bush is saying there's nobody that should look at this guy and say anything but here's the goat. No, I don't. Think, am I, I, don't am I, I putting words in your mouth? No, to me, to me, I, I thought he was he was the best player. I thought he was a goat two three years ago. For me and what what I value. I value the totality of it. I, I, you know, somehow basketball has like been reduced down to championships. Like you got to win these championships or and everything else doesn't count. But if you look up and he's played that long for that period of time and he's been mentally tough enough yeah. to go, you know, you don't think LeBron wanted a break. Jordan got a couple breaks in there. Now, I mm-hmm. want to make this a thing about Jordan versus LeBron, but his greatness. When you look up, he could be the all time leading scorer, top five yeah. in assists. He'll be somewhere in the top 20 of rebounds. He has in, in the playoffs. He he only has the second most three point made behind yeah. Steph Curry. He'll break the it's record crazy. for games. Played. I'd argue it's a lot easier to stay healthy these days than when when Jordan played. But especially because at those days they were everybody was playing 80. Two games every year. Yeah, but guys are work. still getting hurt on a regular <coughs> basis. Mm-hmm. In, Super, the, see, when, see, in those days? No, now. We still see. I know you're saying it's easier yeah, to stay but, healthy now than then. Right. Uh, point point taken. Yeah, I, I but agree. I part of that but guys, guys still get hurt. It's still agree, a game where. But I think I, my sense is that guys don't play through as much stuff as they played through in, in the 80s and 90s. Jason. There's famous stories of Michael going into your point, going into the yeah. training room. Uh, the one year, I can't remember the year, you can you can look it up and find it. Michael would go in the training room and guys would be sitting there getting taped up or whatever. And you go, no, out, out, go get dressed, go get dressed, yeah. go get dressed. Wow. You're playing tonight. Shut up, go get dressed. Wow. And it, I don't care if you're hurt. Go get dressed. What a chill guy. <laughs> <laughs> Good end, teammate. Uh, I, guys I, love them. He punched Steve Kerr. I don't know, how you, say, don't yeah. know how you can say LeBron's underrated, though. If I think he's the second best player of all time, I don't think that means I'm underrating him. Well, well, mean, no, well no, when you bring up LeBron's name, yeah. You, when you bring up Mike, you don't have any. It, there's no warts. It, there's nothing put on his resume. When you bring up LeBron, people say, "Okay, well, you lost a lot in the finals. You moved to Miami. You went back. Uh, Russell uh, Westbrook and Kate or, or, or Anthony Davis aren't playing well." You get a bunch of stuff on LeBron's resume where yeah. it's just like, "Oh, you didn't do you know, that. You did." But when you look at the totality of it, his resume is is honestly right, number for number better than Michael Jordan's. Jordan's resume. You said he took time off. You know, so and people will do the same thing. And, and what, but you know what? The yeah. stat that drives me nuts is that Jordan was six for six. Perfect. Yeah. No. Who he had wasn't? twice as many seasons where he didn't make it to the finals. I was just going to say that. Like, I, okay, listen, I'm biased. I spent four years with LeBron. Yeah. I know him better than Here we go. most. No. <laughs> listen, I want to hear we what know. he's going to say. Give him that resume. Uh-huh. But here's the thing. Like, LeBron gets killed for his three and six finals record. And, and like, the, his fir- the, the Spurs series – 
when he was swept with the Cavs. I don't know how you can hold that against right. him because that Anybody roster that does was awful. Same thing was with the, with the Warriors, really. Donnell I mean, Marshall's ears are burning right now. The only one you can kill him for to be Dallas. Dallas. You can kill him for yeah. Dallas. Yep, yeah. I think so, too. But why does Michael get a pass for not being able to beat the Pistons earlier in his career? That's exactly why does right. he get a pass Whoa, for? But, wait, wait a but, if, but if the Bulls had made the finals earlier in his career and yeah. lost... Why I does he agree, get credit for not making the finals? I agree with the bigger sentiment that you and Jay are both bringing up. That yes, it shouldn't just be about your record only in the finals because you didn't because Michael didn't get to the finals. Right. And had he got there, he might have lost. However, let's be fair. When did when did LeBron ever have a tough path through the East? When did LeBron ever have the cast? At least it. Now, in Miami and, yeah. and with his title in Cleveland, he yeah. finally had the cast, yes. the g- great cast around right. him. But when you look at the cast that Michael had, those were different teams, too. Teams tended to stay together, more or less, yeah. Yeah. than when Michael was winning his. But when you look at just the supporting cast that Michael had at his disposal, compared to some of the teams that LeBron has taken to the finals, you could have taken the best player in the league yeah. and taken LeBron off the Cavs and put the second best player in the league on the Cavs, and that team isn't sniffing the finals. Uh, agreed, but you're just that's just his first time with the Cavs. When he went to Miami and then back with the Cavs again, he had good talent around him. He did. And he had, had better no teams. Co- the, he, the he had and, and the Cavs when he came back here had very little competition. I mean, you, you, you got to think about it. The Detroit Pistons had just beat the three Pete Lakers. The Detroit Pistons were a bona fide team in the Oh, East. no question. They when, were when, when, when LeBron was when here they the had first their time, run. When they I'm had their run. I'm talking about that. I'm saying what I'm saying is since Miami. From Miami through coming back here, okay. he's had no competition in the East. Well, here, I'm going to say this. He you only can, went to the final. Most say, of his finals are since he went to Miami. But to me. And there was no East competition and, and, like Michael had to deal with but, in those years. I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah. Do you think there's a team Michael Jordan played in the finals that were better than the Warriors with KD? No. I agree. No. I don't think so either. No, that was. But and I that's didn't a team. argue against that. Yeah, but, but I know. What, but I'm, you're just, what I'm you're, saying, you're saying the pass, the pass from the one, East that was, was two easy. Two years. That's two years. But, but I, you still got to win. To win the whole thing is. I agree with what you're saying with yeah. the level of competition. The yeah. East was not as high this as was what. A joke. But having said that, yeah. eight straight trips to the finals great. is remarkable. No, of and course it is, but you have to acknowledge and, that it yeah, wasn't that hard. Sure, but still, you still have to stay healthy. You still have to of win. Course. And to make eight straight finals is unbelievable. And here's the other thing. And I know people want to dismiss the bubble title. But history will show LeBron took three franchises wow. to a yeah. championship. That's yep. crazy. Show yep. me any other superstar that did that, that took three wow. different franchises to a championship. Guys weren't changing teams in those days. No, but not, they are now. It doesn't and, matter. And I don't think, to your point of eight, I don't think we'll see that again. I don't think we'll no. see a single player play in eight straight finals not with possible. three different teams. I mean, we no. they probably we haven't seen it since Bill Russell in the 60s. No. Then, so it and, was and, and 50 over, years. I think it's a years. great accomplishment, but I think you so, also have to acknowledge that had the Eastern competition been better, he probably wouldn't have gone eight straight. I don't, I don't know that I agree with that. Yeah, I, I, I don't either. I, here's what I want to do, because we kind of got off. We turned into a Michael. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you. Thanks, you there. Yeah. No, I want to <laughs> kick it back to this. So where does this stand in the pantheon of like Iron Men type streaks? Where does LeBron's 18 out of 19 stand with guys like Cal Ripken? You see what he's been able oh, to do. God. Phil Kessel also just broke the NHL record. I think what Brett Favre was able to do in the NFL, particularly at the position that he played, is stunning. I know the number you see there is 297, but if you throw in playoff games, 321 straight starts. Guys, that's like 20 regular seasons. Yeah. It's crazy. It's 18 and a half seasons I, in total. Where does LeBron fit in with these other total Iron Men type streaks? Nothing will top Cal Ripken in my mind. I don't in, think it fits mind. with these things. These are all consecutive games. It's, no, we're apples not, and oranges. It's, yeah. it is we're apples, apples and oranges, oranges yeah. but like – but, but where does it fit in? Yeah. But for, uh, for Cal Ripken, they're playing every single day, 162 games. Yep. To do that for over 2,000 games is a stunning testament to durability. What LeBron did is a stunning testament to greatness. Yes. yes. And there's a durability difference. and greatness. You can play every day. It doesn't mean you're any good. You can suck and get out there sure. every day if your team's not First of good. all, if you're in the league 19 years, you're not, a, you're not some schlep. You're a, That's exactly you're a right. terrific yeah. player. Yeah. Yeah. Jay-Z said this. No one has ever been this good for this long. And that was on the Black Album. Nobody in the NBA has ever been this good. Any argument well, that, from anybody no here? There's no argument on that, of no. course. Mike, no. I do think we should add Johnny Chestnut to that for his hot dog eating prowess. <laughs> he's he's been Joey, Chestnut. Joey, Joey Chestnut. Joey Chestnut. 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 Chestnut.
competitive either, Skinny. I was just going to say that. They have everything. They purge. I, yeah. The fat guys are never good at that. I was hanging out with Joey Chestnut in Vegas. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's the third name drop. We've been. Amazing. You I dropped it, not me. I want to have a meal with Joey. He, he is in phenomenal well, shape. He really like, is. It, I looked yeah, at him. I was like, oh, my he's God, man. Like, and you rep, before him, it was Kobayashi. Yep. Yeah. He won a bunch. And he, he was like a buck 30 with clothes back. on. America yeah. took it back, Kobayashi. Remember that. Um. So, I'm with you. I think that when you talk Iron Man streaks, I don't care. They're all impressive in their own way. What Brett Favre, particularly at that position, it's just mind-blowing to me. But what Cal Ripken did, the record was considered before he broke it, kind of sports holy grail, would never be touched. Not only did Cal break it, for good measure, he went on to play another 500 consecutive games. Just showing off. And this Mm -hmm. is what I most love about Cal. At the end of the season, when he was at 2-6-3-2, he goes into his manager that day and says, Take me out of the lineup, Skip. Wait, oh, what? Right. Things I never thought I'd hear for a million. And I thought the way he handled that was, he, I think he's one of the classiest superstars that we've ever seen. He did it because he didn't want to place any outside pressure on the organization mm-hmm. to keep him around if he wasn't worthy the next season just so he could keep the streak alive. He didn't want that perception. So we told Skip, take me out it. of the lineup. I'm perfectly healthy. Yep. I could play, but take me out of the lineup. And guys, you'll remember this. The, the sports journalism world crashed. I mean, it, any story that was yeah. on the top of the, of the, you know, up above the fold, as they say, mm-hmm. it was all anyone talked about. And the other thing that I'd say about Ripken, which was one of the most incredible things I've seen in my entire time of being a sports fan, when he broke 21-31, he got a 22-minute standing ovation. Yeah, I remember him he running around the lap. He took seven everybody yeah. curtain Taking calls. Them mm-hmm. I don't think we'll ever see anything like that no. again in the history of sports. That's why been, for me. I would have been so annoyed at that game. <laughs> like 11 minutes in, it'd be like, You know okay, what? I, I talked to down. people that were there, and I asked them that very question. Yeah. I'm like, at some point, like at five minutes, you had to be like, okay, I'd we got a, a game to play. Nah. But the people that I spoke to that were there covering it mm-hmm. said they had goosebumps for the first 10. Yeah. After that, they just sat back and it. said, awesome. we're never going to see this again. Yeah. I'm going I'm, to bathe in this I'm moment. I'm super surprised you guys, you guys are baseball guys. I'm super surprised this wasn't on the list. The, the sellout record at Jacob mm, Field. That's good. That yeah, will that's, never that's individual person yeah. touched. I still that, like it. Uh, that yeah. streak yeah. is correct. Like, there, there, that, that's not going to be Considering those teams were drawing like 3 million fans a season, Crazy. and they're on pace this year, guys. This is horrific. What's not? They're on pace this year to million. draw just over 1 million fans, Dude, so, which million would be their lowest fans. attendance figure since 91, I believe. Mm. By the way, I saw, I saw two historic – well, one's historic and one's just uh, – at baseball games. I, I was at Tom Seaver's 300th win. Nice. He was pitching for the White Sox at Yankee Stadium. That was pretty cool. Yep. And then I saw a no-hitter. Oh, wow. Very uh, cool. Unfortunately, it was at Wrigley Field, and it was against the Cubs, so I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> right. But, uh, but so, so, I think we're in agreement that yeah. Ripken, and then for me, it's probably LeBron. Yeah. And because it's LeBron, greatness and durability. Do you guys have one that is your Iron Man best? Who's your standard? I, I think it, it's got to be Ripken. It, Mike? It's be I'd have there. to go with that too. I mean, I yeah. feel bad for the hockey guy. It's like I don't even know yeah. him. Yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever. Right. That might be a thing. AC Green playing that many straight basketball games is pretty crazy. That's, too. It is nuts. Tom yeah. Brady's also never had playing sex, football right? That. I mean, wasn't he a virgin? Uh, AC Green? Know. Yeah, I think you're yeah. right. Yeah, I think he was, was the guy who was a virgin. Yeah. That's yeah. why he was able to play so yep. much. That's never. the secret, fellas. <laughs> but I got a question for Jason. <laughs> Do you think LeBron will ever win a championship game again? A championship again as the best player on the team? Well, you first have to start the conversation is, is he going to win another championship? Yeah, I think that's okay, fine. a separate conversation. And if he stays in L.A., no. I don't think he's going right, to win another the championship. Yeah. So, that, that, that to me, is, so this summer is going to tell us a lot. Yeah. And that, not to derail your question, but if he signs the extension, he, this summer in August he's eligible to sign. I think Do it's a two-year Do you feel he's going to sign that? Because I don't think he is. I think he is. I think he will. If he wow. doesn't. Buckle up. That's what I keep saying. Yeah, I know. If he doesn't it's sign real that, interesting. buckle up because yep. it's going to get crazy. Yeah. Just but, imagine him walking out of L.A. just throwing a match behind him. He's like, good <laughs> luck with your salary cap. And he just leaves. So, if he stays in L.A., I don't think he'll ever win another championship. I tried telling Laker yeah. fans when they yeah. were going nuts. LeBron, I said, it's not going to end well. Uh, sorry, he man. might get your ring or two, but it is not going yeah. to end well. And I don't, I don't think it is. If he leaves L.A. and can play for another championship, yes, he can be the best player still. Wow. So, it, 
because he plays for April, May, and June. Mm -hmm. Like right. he doesn't care. He, he, he can drive an organization crazy for November, December, January, February, March. I've seen it. Yeah. April, May, and June, he pays the check and he makes it all worth it. Yeah. He even would tell us that. He's like, I'm going into, you know, he'd be like, I'm going to start trying now. We're getting near the playoffs. If you had yeah. to bet today, your house on the line is LeBron. <laughs> just built it. Le <laughs> then, then it's just, you better <laughs> think about this answer. Will LeBron ever be, play for the Cavs again? You had to bet. I had a long conversation with him this summer. I know you did. All right, All Star Weekend. Yeah. I will say, no, no. But yeah, I do think that there's a possibility. It's possible. What, what in that conversation possible. makes you say no? That you had because I think he's going to sign the extension and stay in LA for ha for a long time. I think when he had that for if the he rest signs of his career, his extension that would be it for the rest of his. So career. championship is not his first priority anymore. Okay, so like we're getting off. I'm trying not to go. Yeah, this. Like you see how Mike? Yeah, he's I know. Like, Mike's Mike's guy, not killing you right yeah. now. <laughs> Can I do this or not? Do we got time to do this? Yeah, right, we got time to do this. Great. And then tell yeah, us yeah. about your wedding. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's my here's my thing with LeBron. Yeah. When we were in New Orleans, his second to last year in Cleveland, coming off the championship. Okay. We were down in New Orleans for a game, and they lost to a bad Pelicans team. And in the locker room that night, he set the organization on fire and said they're top-heavy, they need more playmakers. Like, he put Griff on notice, he put the entire organization on notice, and they did not take kindly to that. And, at, and, and he told us to write, like, he had been grumbling leading up to that, and after he did his formal availability that night, it was me, it was Joe Varda, Dave McMenamin standing there, and LeBron, like, saw us, called eyes with us, and goes, hey, write this. And we're like... Okay, it's on. What do you got? And that he just torched the organization. My scribes, so, <laughs> spread the word. So, well, when he talks. <laughs> when when uh -huh. he talks, it's news. So as he was leaving that night, as he's leaving the locker room, I'll never forget, he was standing in the mirror, like adjusting his shirt. He goes, it would be different if I wasn't still in championship mode, but I'm still playing at an incredibly high level. And he left the locker room. So the question that I have that I don't know the answer to, is he still in championship mode? Because he's still playing at an incredibly high level. Does he st want more championships? Is he going to hunt more titles? Yeah. Or is he good with four? If he's good, then he's probably going to stay there and retire there and make movies. And his kids love living in L.A. His yeah. wife loves L.A. And he's just going to ride it out in L.A. But couldn't they still live there? I mean, he's, you know. He's they, never lived away from his family. Uh, he's never lived away right, from his family. Yeah. And now Bronny's getting ready to graduate. Bryce still has a couple years to go. If he wants another title, I believe, and people will disagree with this, I believe he's going to have to leave L.A. if he wants another title in his I, career. I don't so, disagree with that. Where, could he go somewhere else besides Cleveland and L.A.? Look. Or you think it's only Cleveland? I think it's Cleveland. I think and so. And now here's the, here's the reason why I think that. Yeah. And the Cavs are going to push back on that and say, we don't want him. We've been through that before. We don't want him. Okay, well, guess what? You need a playmaking wing. Like, that's what this team needs. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you can't win championships hmm. in the NBA. Who could fill that role? Who 100%. could fill it? And so here's the thing. Like, this is what I – so after our conversation at All-Star Weekend, when he said I wouldn't close the door on that, and by the way, he got himself in a lot of trouble with everything that he told me. So he goes back to L.A. and has to, like, put out some fires with Jeannie and Damage Rob and control. everybody. Damage control. Damage control. Immediately. So he, he irritated me. So he goes out when he gets back to L.A. and he said the media twisted his words. And I was like – your words were not twisted. No. So yeah. they came back like two weeks later. The Lakers came back to Cleveland, and I waited for him after he did his press availability, and I said, listen, I'm not writing anything else on this. I did not twist your words. And he said, no, you didn't. And I said, but you went back and said that your words were twisted. He had he to goes, do that. He goes, yeah, he had to. And he goes, now you're twisting my words. I said, the media twisted my words. I said, I am the media. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, no. He said, we're good. You wrote exactly what I said. We're good. And I said, okay, I just want to hear you say that. And so, like, I said, good yeah. seeing you again. I'll see you when I see you. Inside information only on the ultimate. Putting Queen's LeBron in show. check. So, oh, he and I went at it. His four, we went at it big time. Like, good. Oh, yeah. it was fun. It was good a lot of fun. Good for you. So, standing up. So, that's where I guess I would leave it. And, and so when he said that, I thought the Cavs were going to make the playoffs and probably get bounced in the first round. And then next year, they make the playoffs again. And then he's a free agent. If he doesn't sign the extension, right. then he's a free agent. And now you've got a really good young team that's one piece away a from more getting season. over the top. Yeah. And listen, LeBron and Dan have never had a good relationship. That's nope. He it, came it back never, in spite of Dan. Yeah. Yes. They, is Dan less involved right now, though? I was just going to say yeah, that. Okay. Yep. First of all, they had a mutual agreement. I need you. You need me yep. to get us where Let's we want to go. Title. They want a title. We're good. Go our separate ways. The Cavs are not the Cavs of 2018. Dan is not as involved as he was. Right. Look at the extensions they're handing out. They never handed out no, extensions. No, I know it. Ever. Every, that's like Oprah's book club. You get an extension. <laughs> and you get an extension. <laughs> Kobe and JB are going to outlast me in Cleveland. Yeah. So... The Cavs are not the Cavs anymore. And if and listen, a lot of pieces have to align. And I just said, I think he finishes his career in L.A. 
I'm just laying out for you the but path. You're saying there's a chance. I'm yeah. laying out the path for you if it doesn't happen. Second best chance to him why. staying in LA. You, you, you think heard is what I heard, Dave? Yes. I did. If LeBron get, coming back. If you could get LeBron <laughs> without without get, having to get rid of any of the three core pieces, oh, mm-hmm. then they're the best I team I think you've got a title contender, even if it is yeah. LeBron two years from now. Yeah. I, I, I don't see his body and his game falling that much. Yeah, now, here's, he's 90% or 85% yeah. now, of Now, here's he the is. thing. LeBron does not like playing with kids, but it's two years away. And they won't year, be that in two years. That's right. Two yeah. years but from Jason, now, Garland right? will be in year four. In assuming that he loves this core group, I think I think he's watching this group yes. from a distance, yes. and he's very impressed. He's It seems like he's a fan of these guys. Well, he loved Kyrie and thought he could do something with Dion, and then he got back here and watched him dribble himself silly in Portland <laughs> oh, and <laughs> literally stood in the corner. Stood in the corner and just watched yeah. Kyrie but and Dion. Yeah. Like, these could, guys could, move could, the ball. They, they right? yeah, could they do. he play a different way besides being the he ball? He can play any way he wants. So, yeah. so so he doesn't have to. If, if you say I got Darius Garland and he's he's orchestrating offense, LeBron doesn't need to bring the ball up, orchestrate. He could play a but different he, way. Here's the thing with LeBron that drives me crazy sometimes. So when he left, he left basically. If you remember the press conference he gave right before that finals ended, he basically laid out the reasons why he was going to go. He needed more help around him. He felt like he could never take time off. He had to play 48 minute games. He could not come out of the game. He needed more help around him. But then every situation he gets into. He becomes the guy and takes over the game and he's the ball. In his well, hands it's and like the else. guy who says to himself, I really have to delegate. But then when it comes time to start Mike delegating, Romero. he's like, I don't want to trust this to anybody else. The ball's in my hands. Yeah, right. Yeah. And that gets, that gets very, that's a burden. To your question, could he, could he take a, a, a lesser role? Could he, I think if there's anybody built for that, it's LeBron. He's the greatest passer of the basketball that yes. I've ever seen. And when you look at what he can do with the ball in his hands and make plays and score the basketball and penetrate, the fact that he's willing to assist if that's what the game situation calls for tells me that on a mi- that's a micro level. On the macro level, I think when he gets to that point where he probably realizes the Jordan and Washington, he, he may. I, don't, I think that's going to be an easy transition for him. I can rebound. I can. I can assist. I can play defense. I can score if you need me. Right. Whatever. The thing. The other factor that we haven't mentioned. The Bronny thing is absolutely real. He 100 yeah. mm-hmm. wants to play. Do with you Bronny. see the Bronny as? And I know it's hard to, s- to speculate, but uh, it, is he an NBA going, talent? No. Because he a lot of college. Yeah. He needs. He. I was talking to an NBA evaluator about that, and I said, "How close is he?" And he said, "He really probably needs three years of college." I've heard the same thing. Facts. Interesting. Yeah. So LeBron's like, got to play to 45 then. Or no, he's the <laughs> Bron. He can get maybe, him. In. <laughs> yeah. If, if he said, "Bronny, you're coming out after one," but why would he Cleveland, do that? I'm coming home, and you're dr- and you're going to sign him as a free agent. It no, might I be know good he though. Do that, it might be good for he? us if Bronny is not that good, because then maybe he won't get drafted, and then he can dictate which team he goes to. I think that's exactly how it's going to play out. And then LeBron can be like, "Here's how it's going to play out." I'll tell you exactly how it's going to play out. Rich Paul's the most powerful agent in the NBA, and he's going to call true. up every team and say, "Don't if, touch him." If you take Bronny, uh-huh. you're going to have a hard you're time dealing with me again. Yeah. in yeah. the future. That's the kind and of Bronny power will, he has. It, he 100. percent and, and, and they would they would honor it too. Of course, I don't think they want to go do it. Let's rig not, this game because he's not a top talent. <laughs> I mean, I'm all right. for it. But uh, uh, under my scenario, LeBron's staying in LA, and yeah. Rich Paul is saying, "Let him fall to the Lakers." And again, I want to be perfectly clear. I believe LeBron probably finishes his career in LA. I'm just laying out a path to you it's possible of, mm-hmm. of how it could go another way. Yeah. Yeah. And it all is predicated on this summer in August and whether or not he and here I was going to ask you about Kyrie Irving, but we're out of time. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. yeah, the show. We'll everyone. save it for his next visit. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Right. There is going to be a next visit. I can tell you that right now. We haven't even gotten to the good stuff. No. no. Yeah, I know it's coming up. <laughs>